Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and welcome to our football construction site as we build a team through the NFL Draft. You always hear others say that this particular draft is weak or wait until next year to take this particular position or the NFL draft is an inexact science, but we at Football Game Plan believe that all three of those statements are huge myths and we're here to show you why as we go through seven rounds of the NFL draft and pick players to make each NFL team better. But before we get started, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. You have to remember that the selections that you see in this mock draft will be based off of Football Game Plan Scouting Player Rankings, which you can find on our website at youtube.com slash footballgameplan or footballgameplan.com slash FBGP Scouting. They're also based off what I would do as the general manager, not what I think they'll do, not what they have done or what they will do, but what I would do if I were the GM and also what I believe are the team needs. So not what other people may think the team needs are. If I think they need a quarterback, then I'm gonna take a quarterback. That's how it's gonna go for this mock draft. So it's time to put on my GM hat and let's get started in building up the NFL. The Ravens get started early in finding their next great edge rusher with Derek Rivers out of Youngstown State. Rivers showed good athleticism and versatility at the Senior Bowl being able to drop and cover, but he'll make his hay in the NFL as a strong run defender and outstanding pass rusher. I really like this pick for Baltimore. I was almost tempted to take him in round one. Josh Reynolds would be an immediate upgrade and the most complete wide receiver on that Ravens roster and would also allow everyone else to slide down into a more natural role. Reynolds is athletic and can make the difficult catch look routine. Baltimore has two picks in the third round, so I went with defense with the first one. Cornerback Howard Wilson out of Houston is an outstanding prospect. He has solid all-around game and has that mentality that the Ravens look for in their corners. Zay Jones out of East Carolina has a strong set of hands and was one of the more dependable wideouts in college football throughout his career. It's obvious that I think the Ravens need an infusion of talent at the receiver position, and they land two good ones in this mock draft. Now, the loss of Kyle Juszczyk in free agency opens the door for another valuable and versatile option at fullback. That's why Sam Rogers out of Virginia Tech makes so much sense. He gives you everything that Juszczyk did, plus a little bit more, with his ability to run the football as a single back. Nico Saragusa helps provide depth up front. He's coming from a power rushing offense at San Diego State and will fit perfectly along that Ravens offensive line. And finally, Guy Stallworth is a heck of a safety prospect out of Grambling. He's a strong safety that has the ability to cover and also has above average ball skills skills for the position. So that's a wrap for this edition of Building Through the Draft. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And if you want to watch our other NFL team seven round mock drafts, and you already should, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan where you can catch all of our FBGP scouting prospect ranking videos. Also subscribe to Football Game Plan Podcast on iTunes. <laughs>